What's up, YouTube? Sir Savvy here. And today, we're here to announce we're starting a quick tip series because we've been playing Rogue Company a lot, and there's stuff that we've either been told or we figured out or we've seen that we would like to share with everybody else. So, episode one starts today. In this episode, we're going to cover three different secrets if you want to call them that one being you can switch a gadget two you can replenish your armor if you buy it in a buy round and then three you can show your fps now in game but not in lobby before we get too far into that i did want to say that i do stream on twitch every monday wednesday and friday so if you're liking the content or you just like this video stop by chat about it or just come to hang out with a great community stop on by the link will be to that in the description below without further ado let's show you these three secrets okay for the first secret which we mentioned was switching gadgets in game so before not sure if you're some aware but i would just buy one gadget and think you only have one at a time well that's not the case so if you go up here to the little gear icon which is essentially settings and you hit settings again. Don't know why I have to do that. And you go over to gameplay. No, excuse me. Control binds. We're going to scroll down. As you can see here, you can switch swap gadgets. So you can effectively buy two gadgets and switch between them. And I'll go ahead and show you guys a clip of that right now. Okay. As you can see here, we have two gadgets. Once we get off the plane, we'll show you guys how to swap between them, which my keybind for that is five. Okay, we're on the ground now. Just pay attention to my tactical icon in the bottom right. You'll see it's swapping between an incendiary and an EMP grenade. As far as the repair armor goes, you, so you purchase it in the buy and you have to lose all your armor. Once you've lost all your armor, you'll see off to the right of your health bar, it will give you the option to hit your interact button. So mine's F. So in this clip here, you'll see me hit F and go from 100 health, to zero armor to 100 health and 25 armor. And I'll show you that right now. So as you can see now, I have the ability to press F and it's going to repair my armor in three seconds. Okay. The third and final tip is to show FPS. So a lot of games, as I'm sure you're aware, you can show your FPS on the screen in case you have a monitor that is 144 Hertz or higher because obviously those refresh rates help a lot with shooters. So if you navigate to settings, you go over to the gameplay tab, and you come to the bottom setting, you'll have FPS. It's defaulted to off since they enabled this feature. Go ahead and flick that to on. And now you'll be able to see how many frames you're pulling in the game. So you can go over here to display settings and adjust accordingly if you're not getting the maximum amount that your monitor supports. That does it for this video. You all know how I like to keep the quick tips short, sweet, and to the point in the age of clickbait all over YouTube. I don't like my time wasting on videos, and I don't want to waste your time either. Let me know what you think in the comment section below about this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. Help me with that YouTube algorithm. And if you like this video and videos in the past or other series I've put together, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button and hit the bell notification so you're alerted when a new video gets posted. Not much more to say. Stay safe. Stay positive. Sav out.